Tropical Cyclone Jasper, currently a Category 2 system, may intensify slightly more as it moves towards the coast. It is forecast to cross the coast as a Category 2 system on Wednesday, most likely between Cooktown and Cairns. Jasper will weaken as it moves inland during Thursday towards the Gulf of Carpentaria. Hazards, locally intense rainfall which may lead to dangerous and life-threatening flash flooding is likely about the coast and ranges between Cape Flattery and Port Douglas as well as areas near the centre of tropical cyclone Jasper. Isolated 6 hourly totals between 250 to 300 mm are likely with 24 hourly rainfall totals between 400 to 500 mm possible. Heavy rainfall which may lead to flash flooding is forecast to develop between Cape Flattery and Ingham from early Wednesday morning. 6 hourly totals between 100 to 150 mm are likely, with isolated falls up to 250 mm along the coast and adjacent ranges. 24 hourly rainfall totals between 150 to 250 mm are likely, with isolated falls up to 350 mm possible. Destructive wind gusts of up to 140 km per hour may develop between Wujil Wujil and Innisfail, including Cairns from early Wednesday morning. Gales with damaging wind gusts of up to 120 km per hour are expected to develop along the Queensland coast and adjacent ranges between Cape Flattery and Lucinda, including Cairns late Tuesday or early Wednesday. These damaging winds are likely to extend inland as far as Palmerville and Chiligo after the cyclone has crossed the coast on Wednesday. Gales with damaging winds may extend as far north as Cape Melville on Wednesday, depending on the movement of Jasper. A flood watch is current for the north tropical coast, parts of the Cape York Peninsula and Gulf Country. As the cyclone approaches the coast, a storm tide is expected between Cooktown and Lucinda on the high tides today and Wednesday. Large waves may produce minor flooding along the foreshore. People living in areas likely to be affected by this flooding 